This is Gene Key, KDDD News. From NewsChannel10.com, a Pantex firefighter is dead after an early morning rollover. About 7.45 Sunday morning, 35-year-old Jody Eugene Baker of Amarillo was the passenger in a pickup. The driver lost control of the vehicle on the 1912 overpass because of icy conditions, according to the Department of Public Safety. The vehicle rolled down the overpass embankment. Baker was wearing a seatbelt. Also from Carson County, a California man is dead after an early morning wreck around 5.47 a.m. Sunday. Frank R. Taylor was traveling eastbound on Interstate 40 in a pickup when icy conditions caused him to lose control on an overpass. The vehicle veered south overturning one time before coming to a rest at the bottom of the overpass embankment. Passenger Harold Edward Taylor of Albertsville, Alabama was pronounced dead on the scene. He was not wearing a safety belt. ConnectAmarillo.com reports despite the lack of a permit, Occupy Amarillo served prepared food to the homeless on Christmas Eve. The menu consisted of beans, cornbread, and shepherd's pie. Homeless people in downtown Amarillo made their way to City Hall Plaza to grab a plate and some water. According to Occupy Amarillo member Tim Justice, Amarillo Public Health Article 1 states their permit is mandatory to serve prepared food to the public. He and the rest of Occupy Amarillo feel that ordinance is too restrictive. There's a lot of people who want an opportunity to serve that don't need to feel like they need to go through a bunch of bureaucracy to do so. If you would like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDDD News.